What's up, guys? We got a new kit here from uh, fretwire.com. I'm going to go through and do a review so you can see what you're getting if you decide to get this kit. Check it out. Okay, so this is the uh, semi-hollow flat top flame um, non-cutaway electric guitar with P90s. And we just unboxed it. Uh, came in a pretty basic box. And there's a little bit of slop when they ship it, um, like right and left, down and up and down. But um, overall, nothing's damaged, so pretty happy with it. Let's check out the body. Let's see. So there's just a little, couple little spots that we're going to have to fill. Um, mental note, this is actually one of their blem kits. So um, I was curious to see what's considered a blem. Overall, this one's pretty good. It's definitely rough sanded, so we got to go through and do some of that. Um, but overall really good they have uh, all the little spots pre-drilled that you're supposed to put in screws so that's good that makes it easier for uh, beginners this is a great first kit uh, let's check the routing routing looks pretty clean they even uh, did all the side holes for you too so you don't have to drill through from the cavity to there which is pretty cool um, I think the only thing on this one my pocket's a little bit rough um, and they actually put that into the, the in the description so you're gonna have to uh kind of adjust the neck pocket on that I, that's why this was a blem but man for a blem this is awesome they have such a great standard uh let's see binding looks pretty good back's nice looks to be two piece i think seems right there i don't think there's a third piece here um but yeah let's check out the neck okay when i pulled this out i loved this um i didn't see that in the picture this is my favorite truss rod adjustment. You don't have to pull off any covers or anything, and you don't have to have any annoying specific Allen wrenches. Uh, so it looks to be rosewood. Nice. Plastic nut, definitely need to swap that, but you know, for the price, that's wonderful. Uh, looks to be a ha yeah, mahogany uh, neck. Two piece, you can see the heel cap here. I think there's a little marring there just from me test fitting the neck pocket, but. Pretty good, a little bit of, uh, you can't even really see it. Yeah, just right there, pretty rough. But, you know, these are all things that you should be fixing up on these anyway, so can't fault them for any of that, nice. Uh, fretting, I they're a little bit sharp on the edges, but again, that's stuff I should be doing. I'm not entirely sure how straight the neck is quite yet uh, under tension. Looks a little bit wobbly there, but, um, We'll see how it does once I actually get stuff up to tension. Okay, onto the hardware. Love the tailpiece, really shiny. Um, yeah, nothing you can really go wrong on with that. Nice standard tunematic bridge. Looks good, looks well radiused, so no complaints there. Uh, these are real cheap, so I'll probably swap these out, but they'll work. Um, I know I've replaced these on hundreds of guitars, so I know that they last for a long time. Uh, just not quite the aesthetic that I'm looking for. Um, this is the input jack. Definitely going to swap that for a Switchcraft, just so that these pieces don't break and lose tension. Um, yeah, I mean, if there's one thing that you're going to upgrade for 5 or 10 bucks, input jack would be huge, really high at the top of the list. Um, here's the pickups, P90s. Look pretty generic, but... Cool, we'll have to do a, a test afterwards and see what the output is and see how they sound. Um, decent knobs, normal uh, top hat knobs, Gibson style. Look good. Switch uh, is sealed, which is good or bad depending on who you are. If it's properly made, that means it's gonna keep dirt and crazy stuff out of it, but it also means that it's harder to repair if you need to. So. Um, Again, totally expected for a kit at this price range, and it's up to you whether you want to swap it. Um, pots, kind of the same thing. I think these are the same as the last kit I did. So they're inexpensive. They don't even say alpha on them, so CF is probably an inexpensive brand. But I'm going to swap them with some CTS just because I like the feel and the sound. Um, and then that's the rest of the, uh, let's see, strap button. It's a nice strap button. Um, but yeah, we'll put this whole thing together and make a follow-up video in uh, a little over a month. We'll see you guys soon.